In this podcast, we'll learn how to calculate the noon sun angle. Now, the sun angle is the angle that a beam of light makes with respect to the Earth's surface. Think of the sun angle as how high the sun is above your horizon. Sun angle determines the intensity of light that strikes the surface of the Earth. Here we have two beams of light. We have one at a perpendicular or 90 degree angle and one coming in at a lower angle, approximately about 45 degrees. Both beams of light are drawn to the same size or same width, indicating they have the same amount of energy in the beam. The perpendicular beam illuminates an area indicated by the solid square line. The beam of light that comes in at a lower angle illuminates not only the square that the perpendicular beam illuminates, but its light is spread out over an additional area as indicated by this dashed line. So even though it contains the same amount of energy, because of its lower angle, that beam of light is spread out over a much larger area than the perpendicular beam. So the perpendicular beam's light is more concentrated than the lower angle beam. So as the sun angle decreases, the light is spread over a larger area and the intensity, that is the amount of light per unit of area, say per square meter, decreases as the sun angle decreases. Zenith angle. Zenith angle is the angle that a beam of light makes with respect to a line that's drawn perpendicular to the Earth's surface. Think of it as how far the sun is from being directly overhead. Calculating noon sun angle is relatively easy. The noon sun angle, represented by NSA, is equal to 90 degrees here would be a 90 degree angle, or if we want to look at it over here, 90 degree angle. It's equal 90 minus the zenith angle. So if I take 90 degrees, subtract the zenith angle, I'll be left with this area, this angle right in here, and that's the sun angle. Well, we need to know how to calculate the zenith angle or determine the zenith angle. The zenith angle is the number of degrees of latitude that separate your location from the declination of the sun. Now the declination of the sun is a measurement of the angle between the sun's rays and the Earth's equatorial plane. It's equal to the latitude where the sun is directly overhead at noon, or in other words, it's the subsolar point. So again, the declination of the sun is basically the same as our subsolar point, and the subsolar point is where the sun is directly overhead, that is the latitude where the sun is directly overhead at noon. To calculate the noon sun angle, it's basically two steps. First, we're going to determine the zenith angle, then we'll calculate the sun angle. And we're going to use an example for June 21st, the summer solstice, for a location of 44 degrees north. So again, noon sun angle, 90 minus zenith angle. First we need to know or determine the zenith angle. For this example, again, we're at 44 degrees north latitude. So here we are right here on this diagram. And we know that the declination on June 21st is 23 and a half degrees north latitude. So the sun appears directly overhead at noon on June 21st or the summer solstice. So the number of degrees of latitude that separate 44 and 23 and a half is 20.5. Let's look at the diagram a second. Now, latitudes are always measured starting from the equator. 
So there's 44 degrees of latitude between the equator and 44 degrees north. There's 23 and a half degrees from the equator to where the subsolar point or the declination of the sun is on June 21st. So that means there is 20.5 degrees of latitude that separate your location from the declination of the sun. So 44 minus 23 is 20.5. So, again, the equation for the noon sun angle, 90 minus zenith angle. Zenith angle is equal to 20.5 degrees. So 90 minus 20.5 degrees is equal to 69.5. That, what that means is that on June 21st, at 44 degrees north latitude, the sun will appear about 69.5 degrees above the horizon. Let's look at another example. Let's use the same date, June 21st. Now we'll change the latitude to 44 degrees south. Now recall, the zenith angle is the number of degrees of latitude that separate your location from the declination of the sun. So here we are. We're located at 44 degrees south latitude. It's June 21st, so the declination or subsolar point is 23 and a half degrees north. So the number of degrees that separate the subsolar point or declination from our location is 23 and a half plus 44. So that equates to 67 and a half degrees. So that's our zenith angle, 67 and a half degrees. We'll take our zenith angle, subtract it from 90, and that'll give us the noon sun angle. So 90 minus 67 and a half is 22 and a half degrees. So on the very same day, this is our first example. If we're in the southern hemisphere, the sun appears only 22 and a half degrees above the horizon, much lower angle. The sun's rays are spread out over a larger area, less intense heating, so they would have cooler temperatures on that date. That's why we have opposite seasons, right? In the northern hemisphere in June, we're in the summertime, our starting summer. In the southern hemisphere, they're starting their wintertime. Now here's a rule for calculating zenith angle. We'll know to subtract when the location and declination are in the same hemisphere. In our first example, we are using 44 degrees north, and on June 21st, the subsolar point was 23 and a half degrees. So we subtracted those two numbers to get our zenith angle. If we're in opposite hemispheres, that is the location and declination are in opposite hemispheres, then we're going to add the subsolar point and the location together. 23 and a half plus 44 and a half, 67 and a half degrees. Okay, so in the same hemisphere, subtract, in opposite hemispheres, add. And that concludes our podcast about calculating noon sun angle.